If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have our Team of the Week, Week 3 predictions, as you guys did already know. Yesterday was Sunday. You guys watched other games. I personally wasn't a fan of a lot of the games yesterday. A lot of them were unexciting. A lot of them were kind of weird. Especially if you're a fantasy guy, like I'm a big fantasy guy. So obviously, like the stats yesterday, the, all the games were kind of weird to start off. Not a lot of touchdowns from some big guys to start. Except for my guy, Jamar Chase. He did really good, which was really, really exciting for me. But nonetheless, we have predictions. We got to go through all these guys. We have a current hero, an LTD current. We have two legend heroes, and we have six lower set guys. So let's get into this. You know how long this can take at times. If you guys need to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give the studio a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, comment down below who is your lock for Team of the Week, current, and LTD this week. Let me know down below. So let's get in some of the lower guys. I will start with a few of them, show you guys some stats, some potential things. So we have Jamar Chase, who I think can get a card. Two touchdowns. Another decent day, you know, yardage-wise. He now has four touchdowns, which is tied for lead league for receivers. He's looking really good. He's looking super solid. Remember, guys, this is just the first three weeks of his NFL career, coming off a rough preseason, coming off a quarterback who has probably still playing a little scared, with low volume, only making like 25 pass attempts per game when he was doing 40 last year. It's just all around. If things go back to median, right, like, if Joe Burrow stays pretty efficient and passes 30 to 40 times per game, and Jamar Chase obviously keeps improving and gets a little bit better, you know, with his mind and physicality and stuff, the sky's the limit. Jamar Chase could easily be a top... We could be looking at Jamar Chase as a top three wide receiver next year if things trend. Like, if they are where we're at now and they trend the way it showed with everything going up, he's looking good. I think he's going to be like the Justin Jefferson of last year in terms of fantasy in real life, except Jamar Chase actually could even do better. But Jamar Chase, anyways... He has an 86 overall, so I'd imagine his Team of the Week hero may be, it may be somewhere similar to um, this overall. I don't think it's going to be a big increase over that unless they give him the top piece, which like an 88, 87-ish would be really cool, be really fast as well. Now, I would hope they'd incorporate a power-up as well because I could really get the start of Jamar Chase cards being usable this year. Next, guys, Justin Herbert. Could really see him getting a nice a little upgrade. He had a great week as well. Took down the Chiefs as well, which is, you know, one of the bigger storylines of the week justin herbert of course only has a gold card so this would be a nice little upgrade for justin herbert especially if you're a chargers fan you're a chargers team team and i'm gonna read off the other ones of course i want to get into the bigger ones um the ones i read the last one i really care about here is gonna be um let's go back here miles garrett i think they're easily getting upgrade i don't think we'll get the top card but he had a great week which also took part in you know the chicago chicago just sucked but Miles Garrett, remember, you guys, he has a 92 LTD. So if he gets a power up expansion, he will get a plus one to a 94 overall. Because he'll get 93 overall plus the power up. So well, the power up goes up to 93 already plus the power up expansion. So he'll get up to a 94 overall, which would make him one of the best cards in the game by far. Um, that would make him really, really good. And he had 4.5 sacks, which is just really, really crazy. You know, four sacks is never, you know, never a light feat. It's just that other people did better than him this week, which is crazy enough to say. But. Let's get into the Legend Heroes. So for our first Legend prediction for the Legend Heroes, I think we'll be getting a Jamal Charles Week 3. I don't remember which year, which I compared Jamal Charles to like, he'll be like a Reggie Bush-esque build in terms. He'll be like a better Reggie Bush, 92 overall, give or take. And the thing with, with Jamal Charles is I think he'll be like Reggie Bush with plus one speed. Um, similar catching, similar break tackle, but better trucking. Now, Jamal Charles is a super fun muck card, always has been. I really hope we do see a Jamal Charles card. He had 233 yards and one touchdown. Now, there was another honorable mention guy in there, which I did already delete, so I don't remember his name. Something like Kirk or Kurt, I don't remember his name. He had like three touchdowns and like a hundred, like one to 200 yards and three touchdowns, but I don't know who he was. I've never seen him in mutts. So I don't want to just throw someone random in there, but Jamal Charles is looking like he could potentially get it. I would love a Jamal Charles, um, you know. I, compared to next gen, he may not be the meta back, but Reggie Bush was loved by many, so I can imagine Jamal Charles being super good. He'd have the great juke, he'd have the great spin, he'd have pretty good stiff arm. He's a really well-rounded back, like when it comes to like power and speed. M mostly more elusive and speed, of course, but he's that back that gets like that low-key power, like the mid-70, low-80 truck, the hybrid tackle. He's one of those guys. I would love to see Jamal Charles card. Next, we have Antonio Cromartie, who had a 52-yard pick six and four pass deflections. He was just completely locked down that week. Uh, I don't know. That's the only thing with him is I don't know if they'll give him the card in Team of the Week or they're saving him. But I think Antonio Cromartie would be an awesome card, especially with the way this game plays. We could use a Cromartie card. Cromartie cards are always ball hawks. They always play really, really good. So I would like to see one. Now, in terms of Antonio Cromartie, his, uh, you know, his comps would probably be 
probably similar to all the top corners right now. I mean, the thing with cornerbacks is it's hard to, it's not like a running back with power versus things. Like, he's going to have good zone. He's going to have good man, probably good press. He's going to be good at everything at this overall point. So, probably threshold wise. So, you can't compare him too much, but he will be really fast, which is the important thing. We will get speed. We will get decent height. He's going to be a really, really good card. Now, guys, for the top ones for our current week hero, I think we're going to be getting a Josh Allen Buffalo Bills quarterback current week hero, which will probably be a 92 overall as well. Now, Josh Allen, guys, would break Madden 22, guys. It's not even close. Josh Allen had been 8 through overall right now, right? Um, the thing with Josh Allen, he's a strong arm QB, which means he'll be able to get Gunslinger very easily, very cheap. Josh Allen at a 92 overall. Let's just assume plus, nine, plus power up to 93, so that's a plus 10. He'll have an 85 speed, give or take, right? 85 speed, which is... 86 speed. That's insane. That's insane for a strong arm quarterback. Let me get to this, right? Zach Wilson is the best quarterback in the game, let's just say, with a 82. Josh Allen have an 85 to 86, right? Josh Allen would probably have about a 96 throw power. 96 throw power, which would just be like, he'll have the highest throw power and speed combo in the game. His short will be a 90. His medium will be like an 85, and his uh, deep will probably be close to a 90 as well. His throw in the row will be above 90. He's six foot five. He's 233 pounds when it comes to weight. That's really good as well. He will have about 90 jumping. He will have above 90 ball carrier vision. He will have above 90 break sack. And crazy enough, he will be eligible for gunslinger and potentially a few other things as well. But the, the point here is he's going to be the best, the, the fastest gunslinging throwing quarterback in the game. And let's take a look at his awareness real quick. His awareness is also 78. So take that for what it is. I don't think that reached the 90 threshold, but I do know. I don't know how we're strong on quarterbacks in terms of that, but I do know this. Josh Allen would be the best quarterback in Mutton. It wouldn't even be close. So if Josh Allen gets the car, guys, he had in real life 358 passing yards, four passing touchdowns, and nine rushing yards for one touchdown. He had an absurd week. He had a great week. He dismantled the Washington football team. I would love to see Josh Allen get this card. And now for the current LTD, I think we could be getting a Calvin Ridley. Calvin Ridley for the Falcons wide receiver. I always like to say that in case you guys don't watch football or you guys just play mutt. Calvin Ridley currently has an 82 overall elite card. Now, Calvin Ridley as an LTD current card would have a 93 overall, 94 powered up. So that would be a plus 12 on his overall. He had 136 yards and three touchdowns in week three of, I think it was last year or two years ago, maybe two years ago in 2020. 2020 i don't remember 29 2019 around there i don't know but plus 12 overall right what does calvin ridley end up with had a plus 12 overall guys calvin ridley had an 86 speed at, mind you calvin ridley had an 86 speed at an 82 overall if you guys know how crazy that is 7 86 speed at an 82 overall then you don't know much calvin ridley with a plus 12 overall probably ends up around a 94 speed 93 94 speed like that's like probably 93 94 with the power of course plus the wide receiving you know the plus speed you're probably getting up to like a 96 97 speed this calvin ridley card would be the meta card he's a route runner which means route tech for less ap this card ends up being absolutely absurd absolutely just crazy he ends up close he ends up with like a 90 jumping he ends up near 90 catching high 80 catch in traffic high 80 spec catch he ends up with above 90 deep route running above 90 medium route running and really close 90 short route running he ends up as a route running goon the fastest card in the game route running goon can catch really well he's six foot one 190 he ends up with a, like 93 94 excel he ends up with let's see above 90 change of direction above 90 juke above 90 spin wow this card would be insane above 80 break tackle this card would be the meta card in the game and it wouldn't even be close he'd be the best wide receiver in madden he'd dominate a route. He'd be like the how Stephon Diggs and Devontae Adams get those crazy route running moves. He'd get that while also being the fastest guy in the game and pretty good with the ball in his hands as well. I mean, above 90 change of direction, juke and spin. He just has no power at all, but he'll close to 90 countering as well. This card would be absolutely insane, guys. That's the week. We have Calvin Ridley as the LTD current. We have Josh Allen as the current hero. We have Jamal Charles and Antonio Camardi as the legend heroes. And for the lower set guys, we got Jamar Chase, Justin Herbert, Mike Williams, Jordan Poyer, Miles Garrett, and Asante Samuel Jr., which were the other two guys I forgot to mention earlier. But yeah, guys, about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, comment down below who is your lock for LTD Current and the Current Hero. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.